Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 1 on the method of variation of parameters. Those who don't watch the basics video, go to the playlist, watch the basics video first and come back here for the problem solving session. In today's session, I am going to take two interesting problems. Only the change is going to happen in the RHS. If my RHS is going to be seek an AX, what would be the solution? Similarly, the second problem I am going to take, RHS is going to be cosecant AX. Let us go into the problem. So, a given problem D square plus A square into Y is equal to secant AX. You want to find the solution. So, we know the general solution Y is equal to CF plus PI. So, let us remember the steps which we did in our basics video. We will do one by one. Let us write the question and my step 1 is finding CF. In particular, finding Y1 and Y2. Now, to find the CF, make the RHS 0. You will be getting D square plus A square into Y equal to M. When you put D equal to M, we will be getting the auxiliary equation M square plus A square equal to 0. M square equal to minus A square. When you take the square root, we will be getting plus or minus i into a. For the negative value, I will be getting this i. a square square root is a. Whenever you take square root, you write plus or minus i a. And we know my complementary function. It is going to be e power alpha x a cos beta x b sin beta x if the roots are alpha plus or minus i beta. But now my roots are 0 plus or minus i a. So, what will happen here? e power 0 x will become 1. So, I can directly write it as a cos a x b sin a x. So, in my step 1, I found my y1 is cos a x and my y2 is sin a x. Done. So, step 1 gets over a y1 plus b y2. Let us go into step 2. We know the step 2 is wrong skein. So, before going to step 2, write the information which is known to us. y1 is cos a x y2 is sin ax, y1 dash, when I differentiate this, I will be getting minus a sin ax. And similarly, y2 dash, when I differentiate sin, I will be getting cos ax and the constant a. This is my y1 dash and y2 dash. Now, we know what is wrong skein. Wrong skein is the determinant of this y1, y2, y1 dash with y2 dash. So, I can fill this from the left hand side. Now, we know the exact value in the right hand side. Fill in the other side. Now, expand the determinant. We will be getting a into cos square ax. Here, minus into minus plus a into sin square ax. Now, taking a outside, cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So, I am getting the answer A. And A is going to be not equal to 0. That is very important. Therefore, my wrong skein W is equal to A. Step 2 gets over. Now, when we go for step 3, I said a very clear thing. Write the information which is known. We know Y1, Y2. Then, just now, we found the value of W. I know W, I can write it. And then, R is given in the question. And we know the formula U. We know the formula V. Write everything in the table. Make sure that all are correct. Then, we can easily crack this problem. Let us fill Y1 is cos AX. Y2 is sin AX. W equal to A. Right hand side is my secant AX that is given in the question. And we know the formula U, smaller guy, Y2, bigger support. V, bigger guy, Y1, smaller support. U is starting point, so negative. V is ending point, so positive, etc, etc. Now, my job is to find U and V. Just before you solve, think, my R is secant AX. If it is secant AX, it is nothing but 1 by cos AX. So, now, R is multiplied with Y1. R is multiplied with Y1. Cos AX, secant AX get cancelled. So, the problem is going to be very simple. So, I choose this formula first to solve. So, my V is going to be integral. Y1 is cos AX. R is going to be secant AX divided by A DX. The hint is, whenever you want to solve the final problem, convert into sine or cos, it is easy for you to solve. Now, cos AX into secant AX, I can write it as cos AX, secant is nothing but 1 by cos. Therefore, I can cancel both. 
cos cos get cancel 1 by a integral dx is going to be x by a this is my v next we have to find u because from the question secant is given secant into cos is going to be simply 1 therefore we solved v first now we have to go for u u formula is minus y2 r divided by w into dx y2 is sin ax r is secant ax divided by a now take this a away minus 1 by a sin ax divided by cos ax now i think the flash is going in your mind integral f of x in the numerator f dash of x dx is going to be log f of x plus c now we see cos ax is there cos ax differentiation is minus a into sin ax therefore i am taking this minus inside but a is missing therefore i multiplied by a and divide by a this part will become log cos ax 1 by a square next write my pi that is u y1 plus v y2 it is very important student write your u in a separate bracket then it is easy for you to write the answer in a smooth way and finally simplifying this will be getting cos ax by a square log cos ax x by a sin ax now the general solution is cf plus pi that is a y1 plus b y2 plus u y1 plus v y2 write everything the problem gets over next in the similar way we are going to solve for cosecant ax see my left hand side exactly the same as like problem 1 cf and wrong sign is going to be the same only my pi is going to change that is also changes happen in r so now i am going to take the information from problem 1 y1 is cos ax it is going to be the same because our problem is same d square plus a square into y is equal to cosecant ax next y2 is sin ax w is a my right hand side is cosecant ax and my u and v are my formulas now you have to think like the previous problem cosecant is there cosecant means 1 by sin so if i multiply with this problem gets simple so u is simple here i'll take u is equal to minus y2 r by w dx and then sin into cosecant both will get cancel or you can write like sin by sin then you cancel that is also good so minus 1 by a integral dx when you integrate minus x by a is my answer for u next we have to find v so as i said what we are doing here after writing step 3 we are finding which is comfortable for me for cosecant sin is comfortable so first i complete this formula next we are going for v v is not tough it's a uh, time consuming you may do one or two steps extra y1 r by w dx now we know cosecant ax is going to be 1 by sin x so we know the formula sin ax differentiation is a into cos ax so i am going to multiply and divide by a already there is one a a into a a square now integration of this is going to be log sin ax into 1 by a square now v is also gets over next substituting u and v in pi simplifying this i can write like minus x by a cos ax plus sin ax by a square into log sin ax finally the general solution is y equal to cf plus pi ay1 plus by2 plus uy1 plus vy2 write the answer problem gets over <coughs> so in this session we solved two important problems that is my rhs is secant ax and cosecant ax in exam point of view they can ask the question like this solve d square plus 4 into y is equal to secant 2x if they ask in numbers never try to solve in terms of numbers now you see secant 2x so what you have to do we have to write like this let us assume d square plus a square into y is equal to secant ax then solve the problem for general we know how to solve this you can see the final answer given here find the final answer now we know that from the question d square plus 4 into y is nothing but d square plus 2 square into y is equal to secant 2x substitute 
a equal to 2 in the final answer then we will be getting y is nothing but y of x that is a cos 2x plus b sin 2x plus cos 2x by 2 square 4 log cos 2x plus x by 2 sin 2x. Hope you understand students. So whatever they ask, they may ask like d square plus 4 into y secant 2x or d square plus 9 into y secant 3x any number identify the number just assume the general formula solve it and put your a equal to 2 for this or a equal to 3 for this problem at the end similarly for cosecant x also if they are asking d square plus 1 into y cosecant x now choice is yours suppose you are feeling that numbers is getting issue for you you just solve the problem for the general assumption a and put a equal to 1 so it will become a cos x b sin x plus x by minus 1 cos x plus sin x by 1 square log sin x so choice is yours if you get d square plus 4 into y is equal to cosecant 2x then the better option and the best option is assuming this for a solve it and finally substitute a equal to 2 Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.